Welcome to the next episode of Artificial Intelligence. I'm your host, Rifat Bari, Artificial Intelligence Researcher at the Morales Lab at City College. I'm about to uh, interview a professor who works at both MIT and Harvard. He teaches at MIT and he works at a bioengineering lab at Harvard where he uses artificial intelligence to develop sensors that use AI to make patients' lives better. So let's see what this professor thinks about AI, the potential applications of AI, and how he thinks it can improve in the future. Let's check it out. Hello, I'm Mac Cameron, and I, uh, I actually teach a few classes uh, over at the Entrepreneurship Center. Cool. So Matt, I'm an AI researcher, and uh, I have a few questions I'd like to ask. So what do you think about artificial intelligence? Do you think it can have, do you think it has a, a positive potential in our world to change how we uh, how we do repetitive tasks, or do you think it has a more negative impact? Yeah, absolutely, a, a positive impact. I think that the uh, intent of what something like that is used for is very important. Certainly, uh, you know, exciting advancement is the autonomous driving, and I know just right. the other day uh, to do AI day, there was some pretty exciting developments on on um, the capability to. Uh, use a lot of data to train different AI models and um, incorporate them not only in, in self-driving vehicles, but you know those same AI you know awareness uh, models on um, humanoid robots. So uh, I think there's a lot of opportunities for um, you know that type of AI, and and certainly it's just really endless uh, the application. Right. So so absolutely, yeah. Right. You know, AI is also helping <laughs> doctors identify tumors and cancerous tumors in patients. Of um, do you think AIs can ever become as smart as humans, as creative as humans? Right now they can do repetitive tasks like search the entire web in a matter of seconds or yeah. identify numbers very quickly. But do you think they'll have the ability to be as creative as humans, produce music or arts or culture? So I've, I've already seen some applications online that AI can essentially write content. Uh, I think there's a software called Jarvis or Jarvi that oh, like uh, Iron Man. Uh, yeah, there, there's so there's a, a program that allows you to just plug in a topic and it will actually write content for that topic for say social media posts and other things. Um, so yeah, the, it it is creeping into the um, arts, so, so to speak. If if you were to consider, you know, writing social media content, you know, in that that respect, but. It, it just will continue to get better and again it, it's uh, you know it's up to us right, right. Of, of what what we would be inspired and what customers are ultimately going to want out of a, a intelligent you know a intelligent system so um, even in in uh, generative design uh, when designing like 3d models there's a lot of capability for for AI to, to assist in in calculating a lot of forces and things that could happen that a human would have difficulty doing as it relates to even the physical design space. So, you know, the ability for it to be creative, I think it's it's already really inspiring, you know, humans in that way, but you know, so far it still requires a significant amount of thought on the um, you know, on the the Free human spark, side right. still, yeah. And um, my final question is about the difference between AI and humans in respect to how we learn. So what do you think, uh, from your perspective, is the difference from how artificial neural networks learn? And Both, I think, is going to be very important. Um, because, again, the, I mean, this is, I feel like at this point it's already, you know, said multiple times, but we, by having a cell phone in our pocket, we are almost already engaging with you know applications yeah. in AI yeah. and the ability to like consistently incorporate this you know m marriage of like AI and you know human thinking well thank you sir uh, thank you for your time and uh, <laughs> sure, yeah. Yeah, see you around